Don here in Florida and today I'm going to deviate a little bit from what I normally do and I'm going to focus, I'm going to concentrate on one thing and that's the hammer. Now this hammer in particular is one that my brother gave me years ago when he was in machine shop class in Vermont <clears throat> and uh, he gave it to me for Christmas and it's always been my favorite hammer. You'll probably see this in almost all my videos. Uh, and I have literally hundreds of hammers. I, I don't know how many hammers I have. And, you know, all technicians have their drawers organized. I probably have three drawers organized just for hammers. Uh, no bounce hammers, ball peen hammers, drilling hammers, driving hammers, you name it, I got a hammer for it. Uh, about the only hammer I don't like is this hammer. And knowing that I like this hammer in particular, I was walking through the uh, flea market and stumbled across this and the guy wanted five bucks for it and we dickered on it a little bit and I got him down to three and the thing that really caught my eye on this hammer was that it's an all aluminum body cast and it's got the finger grooves already in it and a hole in it to hang it up <clears throat> and when I looked close at it and let me see if I can get this in here It says Bonnie USA. Now Bonnie's a company that went out of business years ago, um, but some of my all-time favorite tools have been Bonnie tools. I was working at a Ford dealership back in the early 80s, and this is like when metrics were starting to take off, and I needed a metric set really quick, and the independent tool truck came up, and I jumped on board, and he had a set of uh, Bonnie metric sockets. I bought those. Bonnie sockets and to this day they're still my my favorite 3 8 uh, metric socket set I, I have all kinds of metric sockets I you know snap on craftsman Mac Mac I have them all but those Bonnie's are still my favorite so when I saw this Bonnie name and knowing that all the Bonnie tools that I have have been really outstanding tools I and I thought this would might make a nice addition to my on the bench hammer set and it would be a slightly larger version than what my brother made so that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to clean this hammer up and we're going to see what we can make of it. Okay, so let's get on it. Okay, quick share. I bought these 7 MIL thickness uh, nitrile disposable gloves from Horror Freight. And believe me, these things are a horror. I think I've managed to actually get maybe six or seven out of the entire box of how many's in here? 50 to go on my hands without uh, shredding or coming apart before I actually get to use them. So these I will never buy again. That's just my two cents on these Horror Freight gloves. I've got so let's get this hammer apart. Nothing to it. Take that nut off. That comes out. That's it. That's all there is to it. So what I want to do, that, that nut's not going to go back on there. What we're going to do is... Uh, Get this all cleaned up first to get the grease and stuff off it and then we'll uh, go ahead and start cleaning it up on the brush. like we found somebody's initials in there OB anyway you might be able to see that Bonnie USA in there better now so let's go over and, and uh, finish this up on the brass brush and see what we got all right let's see if this will make that aluminum look any nicer Okay, so a lot of these nooks and crannies we couldn't get into, so we're going to follow up with the Dremel tool.
All right, that's not too bad. Let's go on over to the uh, scotch right. My original thought was to do this on the belt sander, but it might be a little bit too aggressive. So let's try it on the scotch right first. I just want to take out this rough stuff. Okay, so we took out the uh, lightest of the injuries, the heaviest damage is just going to stay there, but that's okay because this hammer is going to be a user. So let's go back over on the bench. Okay, interestingly, this is a tapered end right here, and it's tapered on the inside of this copper piece, so it sits down in like that, and that centers it, and then the bolt goes through and holds it. I cleaned the bolt off, off camera. And uh, so we're gonna use this and go over in the lathe and just clean this up real nice. So we're not gonna do anything else to that. So let's go do that right now. Okay, so I'm just gonna wrap that bolt in a piece of copper. And we're just aiming to clean this up a little bit.
okay, not too bad for a piece of copper that's gonna be pounded on. So we'll put that back into service. Go just like that. Okay, so we got a chunk of UHMW, which is uh, ultra high molecular weight polyethylene. And this is some bad stuff. If you wanna make a hammerhead, this is the stuff you want to use. This stuff will take a beating all day long. It's it's used for rollers and skids and bearings and all kinds of crazy stuff. So we're going to go ahead and smooth this up on one end. That came out pretty darn good. So we're going to flip it around. Yeah, it's a lot more solid. The reason I'm flipping around is I already have a profile started here. And I'm gonna work off that profile to come to this, and the diameter of this is fine. So let's go ahead and drill that out to start. Okay, so we're gonna run that in just over an inch deep. down my dimensions here so uh, three, two, five. so where are we at now a little bit more than that Okay, so we open that up to our depth. So we have to kick this off at a 15 degree angle because the, the taper in here is 15 degrees, 30 included if you say it that way. All right, so let's see what this is gonna do for us. Sure, okay, I need to come up. I need to widen that a total of 25 thousandths more, so I set the DRL to zero. I'm gonna back this out 12. That should just give us what we need right there. Yep, fits like a glove. Okay, so we need to take 200 thousandths out of that. And my braised on works so well before, I think I'm gonna stick with it. Okay, I got a uh, HSS cutoff tool here. Got a little extra space in here because I wanna have a a little, little at the end to contour with later. So we're gonna get her up here, lined right up, and see about cutting this off. There we go. Go ahead and screw this all together. test fit here 
Yeah. Probably just leave it like that, but I want it to match the other side a little bit better. Okay, a little chuck swap out. Put a little piece of copper around those threads so I don't ding them up. All right, so we have a little bit to play with right here. So I'm gonna try to contour this back similar to that right there, round it on the end a little bit, and then just taper it. like we'll be truing it to that bolt. I think that's probably just going to about do it. Let's go back over to the bench and see about putting that together. Yeah, I was just thinking uh, what a smart design that is because the impact into the brass and the plastic here don't really occur in the threads. They occur basically on these flat spots here and the bolts just kind of holding it in place. So it, it locks right down on there, goes right down on that on that taper real nice it's got two flat spots here so it centers up real nice okay loads up nice okay and then she just posing threads like that so you can tighten it right up from both sides and there you go a nice bonnie hammer and you know i could spend more time uh cleaning that up and, and polishing it out but i have all the crud off it and it's just going to get greasy here in the next few days anyway so i think that's about it i like the grip of that hammer i like that it's got a place to hang it i think it's gonna make a nice addition to my hammer collection so yeah there she sits yeah, anyway i'm always going around saying there's no school like old school and uh i really do think that a lot of the stuff built back in the day is, is a lot nicer to uh, work with and you know for three bucks and a piece of plastic that I had laying around. I, I think probably that copper is worth more than three bucks right there. I got myself a nice uh, hammer. It's handsome, good looking hammer. And uh, it, it's weighted nice. It feels nice in the hand. So those are gonna be my two bench hammers from now on. Real, real nice piece. Anyway, a little outside the box of what I usually do. I hope you all enjoyed this. And as always from Florida, Don out.